Welcome to the Access Tutorial Series. This video series is intended to walk you through how to use Access on a desktop or laptop computer. To begin, visit access.wi.gov. In this video, we will be covering how to create an account and the differences between the buttons on the home screen. On the home screen, there are four options to consider, each with a different purpose. Let's break down each and see which you should use. These options are Apply Now, Finish an Application, Log In, and Create an Account. The first button says Apply Now. This option is for users who are visiting the Access tool for the first time and wish to apply for benefits. By clicking this button, you will be taken to an overview of the Access tool with an option to move forward with creating your account. We will return to creating an account momentarily. The next button says Login. This option is for users who have already applied for benefits and want to check the status of their application. Alternately, you can choose Finish an application if you are in the middle of an application and need to complete it. We will cover finishing an application in a future video. For your convenience, there is also a Login button in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. By clicking Login, you will be taken to the Secure Access Login page. Here, you will enter the credentials you established while creating your account during the Apply Now step. If you do not have login credentials, we will walk through this momentarily. Lastly, there is the Create an Account button. This option is for users who have already enrolled in a program and wish to access their benefits using the Access tool. This option does not automatically begin a new application for you. This option is not recommended unless you have been specifically told to create an account by a caseworker in order to access the benefits from a program in which you are already enrolled. For the purposes of this video, we will be creating a new account by choosing Apply Now. This will be the first step for most new users to the Access tool. This process should take about 5 minutes. From the home page, choose the Apply Now button. Read the overview page carefully. When you are ready, click Create an Account. The first step will be entering your name. For verification purposes, please enter your full legal name as it appears on any official identification like your birth certificate, passport, or driver's license. You are not required to enter your middle name. You may choose to identify your suffix. When you are ready, click Next. Next, we'll create a unique user ID and password for your account. Please read all of the instructions carefully. You will want to create a user ID and password that you can remember but is also secure. It is highly recommended that you do not use an ID or password that you use for any other app or service. In the user ID box, create a unique user ID using the on-screen protocols. Your ID must be between 5 and 20 characters long, use both letters and numbers but no special characters, and contain no spaces. Each item will display a green checkmark next to it once completed. If all items are not met, an error will display asking you to fix the problem. In the password box, create a unique password using the on-screen protocols. Your password must be between 8 and 20 characters long, contain at least one letter, at least one number, and at least one special character. Be sure to check that you are not using any of the listed special characters, that your password does not contain any spaces, and that it is not the same as your user ID. Each item will display a green check mark next to it once it's completed. If all items are not met, an error will display asking you to fix the problem. You will be asked to re-enter the password on the next line to confirm its accuracy. While it's not required, it is highly recommended that you enter an email address here in case you need to reset your password or need help accessing your account in the future. When you are ready, click Next. For security purposes, you will be asked to establish secret questions. These are questions in which only you know the answer. They are used to verify your identity when resetting your password. For each secret question, you will be provided a list of options from a drop-down. Choose which question will be easiest for you to remember if asked in the future, 
then answer your question below. Repeat this step for the second question. Lastly, you must agree to the terms of use before you can proceed. You can read the entire terms of use by clicking the link provided. To accept the terms of use, click the box that says, I agree to the terms of use, then click next. If you've entered an email address in the first step, you will be sent a verification link. Read this page carefully. You will need to click the verification link within 30 minutes to activate your account. Check your email for the verification link. If you do not see it, be sure to look in your spam or junk folder. You've successfully created your account. You will now be prompted to log into Access to begin your application. Log in using the credentials we created in the previous step. That is all we will cover in this video. Join us for the next video, where we will begin applying for our benefits. Visit fsc-corp.org slash access for more information and videos on the access tool. That's fsc-corp.org slash access. Thank you for watching.